I've got a few different security products that we offer laid out on the desk here. So I'm just gonna take the opportunity to show you a few of these things. If you've got that factory barrel, which is vulnerable to the twisting or the picking, then it's best to change that over. It's a type of deadlock which we fit to a lot of vans. If someone gets past your factory security, the doors open just a little bit and then they're stopped by the dead. We're looking now at higher levels of destruction. Sometimes it's like this with the long throw bolt on the side doors. Sometimes it's the hook type of bolt. And what we can do actually on some vehicles is put them up high now. So helpful in terms of that door folding. That's a large surface mounted lock that can go on the door. Sometimes it has to go low down on the door and sometimes we can put it up high. This one is the armor plate stronghold lock, very similar to the locks of vans ultimate lock if you had your catalytic converter stolen that would be a massive inconvenience for you and it's probably really expensive this ecu shield would be from a mercedes sprinter the, the opd pull the, the fees can use it to code key trackers pedal boxes arm system it might be that will work with your original remote control or it might be that we supply an extra remote control for the alarm we typically using the cab of the van if someone breaks a window and leans in to remove contents a pir sensor so this is what i'm typically suggesting for the load area of a van. So some of the factory alarms and some other alarms without this additional security are just, they don't even know someone's gone in the load area and the alarm doesn't go off. Then having an extra switch fitted up high on the top of the side load door will mean that if we can get an early alert, it's actually a really bright blue flashing LED when it's fitted. A little warned away, like a beep. This is the one people talk about when they think a bubble around my, my vehicle. The rear of it is metal, so you actually only really see outside of the driver and the passenger window. So this is a good, tilt sensor it's not done just for, by a quick movement it needs to see that a vehicle goes up for a certain amount of time like for a second so it's not like going off with rocket so this is a dual stage shock, shock sensor have a worn away so the outer zone could be a little bit more sensitive where it's just going to beep beep it's not going to really inconvenience that much because it will go off and i understand the level of destruction that's happening to some of these vans yeah, maybe we've got to accept that there's going to be a little bit of nuisance noise and by having this type of detector fitted. Get in touch via the website, it's www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. 